Nuestra Señora de Guía, Our Lady of Guidance. The image of Nuestra Señora de Guía is considered as the oldest Marian statue in the Philippines. She is the swan patroness of Manila. She is also patroness of navigators, travelers, seafarers, and overseas Filipino workers. In this video, we are seeing the history of Our Lady of Guidance. Our Lady statue is made of mole wood and stands about 50 cm. Our Lady is characterized by dark skin and long light brown hair. The image depicts the Immaculate Conception. There were different historical theories regarding the origin of this image. One theory says that the image was brought by Ferdinand Magellan. Other theory says that the statue was brought by Chinese merchants because the image's features such as sarong-like bodies painted with the colors of Chinese tradition such as red, blue and gold paint. Also, Our Lady's almond-shaped eyes was considered as evidence of a Chinese origin for the statue. Another theory was that the image was brought by the Blessed Ordoric of Pordenon, a Franciscan missionary for his missionary work in Bolinao, Pangasinan in the year 1324, for the image was that of the Immaculate Conception. Regardless of the origin of the image, we have a sure information about when the image of Our Lady of Kia became famous and venerated by everyone. Raja Sulaiman was the ruler of Manila along with Raja Matanda when the invasion of Legazpi occurred. The Spanish conquistador representing King Philip II of Spain, Miguel Lopez de Legazpi, searching for a suitable place to establish his capital, sent Martin and Juan together with the soldiers on an expedition to Luzon upon hearing of a prosperous kingdom there. According to the annals of the Manila Cathedral, when the crew of Miguel Lopez de Legazpi came to Luzon on May 19 in the year 1571, they discovered a group of animist natives venerating a statue of a woman placed upon a pandan leaves bush. The woman was later identified as the Virgin Mary by the two friars who came with the crew of Legazpi. The animist natives told the Spanish crew that the statue of the lady has the power to make their petitions come true and performs miracles. Due to the many miracles attributed to the image, particularly in aid of sailors, the image was named Our Lady of Guidance. The same day, Miguel Lopez conquered the territory of Raja Sulaiman, and Miguel Lopez de Legazpi consecrated the city to both Saint Pudentiana and Our Lady of Guidance. And a small chapel was built to enshrine Our Lady of Guidance. Later, in the year 1578, Philip II of Spain issued a royal decree invoking Our Lady of Guidance to be swan patroness of Manila, making her the city's titular patroness. The Church of La Ermita began as a simple shrine made of bamboo, nipa, and mole wood that was built to enshrine the image of Our Lady of Guidance. The church was damaged many times due to earthquakes. In addition, the image had been transferred to the Manila Cathedral for safety of the statue during the British occupation of Manila. Later was built a more permanent stone church in the year 1810 and the image was returned to the church in the year 1918. In the year 1945, near the end of the World War II, the church was completely destroyed during the Battle of Manila. However, the image was saved from destruction and was kept in a private residence. Finally, in the year 1947, work for the reconstruction of the church began. By the year 1953, the reconstruction was completed and the image of Our Lady of Guidance was returned to the church. 
the image was canonically crowned on December 30 in the year 1955 on Rizal Day by the Apostolic Nuncio to the Philippines. The image of Our Lady was presented with a gold cane by a Spanish admiral for being saved from a storm at sea after invoking Our Lady. And this was a beautiful history of Our Lady of Guidance. Thank you so much for watching.